What's up everybody? It's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm. Got Cody out here with me again today and we are going to continue our work on this fence line over here that we did yesterday which I tell you what guys I am absolutely in love with the way that this front yard looks now. It's really opened it up and feels uh, feel even though it's more open it feels more cozy if you will like just being able to see the house and sit on the front porch and look out and see the road. And I tell you what, I drove by here last night after we cleared this because, of course, you can obviously see the house a lot better now from the road. And all the porch lights were lit up and the flag light was on. And it was just absolutely beautiful. It looked like the house was alive again. So it's amazing how just clearing a little bit, because this is really just a small amount of, of land, can really open the place up and make it feel better. But we got to get back to work. Out here, I want to go ahead and finish clearing all of this. We still got some old dead privet hedge pieces in there. I got some stumps here that are going to be a pain to cut, but we'll get those cut down. Um, and also, I'd like to, you know, clear more of this stuff going down here. I've got another dead privet hedge tree that needs to come down right there, and also this dead tree over here. So, a lot of work to do today. Um, it's still in a small area. But I tell you what, I'm just absolutely proud of this. I just love looking at the house from this angle and sitting on the front and looking out. And it's actually got a lawn again. You know, it feels like it's got a front yard again with this tree cleared around here. It just opens the space up and feels so much bigger and so much more homey. So all that being said, I guess it's time to uh, get back to work and uh, start sweating again. As boy, it's, it's some hot days. It's some hot days here in Georgia. Let's get to it. So the tractor's slowing down progress now. And so either the alternator's gone out in the tractor, which I don't believe is a problem, or this brand new battery has gone bad in it because we're getting, we're getting that. I went through, cleaned the terminals again with the uh, wisteria vines and privet hedge. And I checked all of this stuff, make sure there wasn't any corrosion or anything going on. And we're just not getting power down there. I don't have a multimeter on me or anything, so I can't check this battery. Um, I don't think the alternator is dead because when it is running, the battery seems to pick back up a charge. I think that this battery, which I just bought, I mean, a few months ago, has gone bad on the tractor. So that kind of sucks. Uh, we'll just let it sit, cool down, and uh, see if the battery will start working again for us. Um, because that's what it's been doing. It'll, you know, when I'm trying to start it, it'll just do this. I let it sit for a little bit, and it's like there's some rejuvenation happening inside of the battery. And it'll start a couple times again for us. So that kind of sucks, though, for now, because it slowed down the, uh, the progress. And I don't think I've got my jump box cables on me, either. All right, so I went up to the general store and bought some real high-quality $10 jumper cables here. Which kind of sucks, because I bought some real high quality and i mean actually really high quality jumper cables from uh, actually my friend ben he's a local antiquer and junker he's actually been on this show before uh, but he's a local local fella that has a bunch of cool stuff and i bought that grab grab a hold of that other cable for me there so i bought some really good jumper cables from him and I, of course, don't have them today. So I bought these $10 cheap ones. So we're going to see if we can't get this to run again. So definitely the battery. We'll go ahead and check the alternator right quick, too. The alternator in the tractor is bad, so it is the alternator, not the battery. So 
So we'll go ahead and get that fixed. It looks like someone just put a GM one wire alternator on there, but at least it's not the battery. I thought the alternator was actually charging the battery because it seemed like the longer I ran the tractor, the battery took more of a charge. But obviously you guys just saw with me, it's not. Let's get back to work now. stake to uh, put up the old blueberry bush there so I got this stick I've been tripping over for like a while now it's laying in the yard so I think this nice little section right here will make a good stake for our blueberry bush <laughs> my other blueberry bush didn't do this laying over like this one did I think it's uh because it's just as loaded with blueberries as this one is I think the wisteria got a hold to this one a little bit and kind of pulled it to the ground so I want to get it up so we don't have that problem so now we just need to find a piece of string which I mean shouldn't be too hard around here all right there we go got the blueberry bush tied up on our stake now so hopefully it'll correct its growing and come up right like we want it. So next thing we need to do is run another section of barbed wire down here under that so we don't have that easy to access gap down there. Also should probably fill that in too um, and make it more like we did down there. But you know messing with barbed wire that's a lot of a lot of work and I just want to avoid doing that at the moment so we'll go feed the chickens first. All right what's up everybody? Yeah, I hear you. So we've got three chickens that are out of the coop now and are just living out of the coop totally free range because these three right here now that one right there was one of the new chickens that i bought along with the turkey and it's very very wild uh, when it sees me it usually runs off into the woods where i can't catch it anymore those other two rhode island reds that are going into the woods those i bought a while back and they were living in the coop for at least a month and then just one day decided they were not going to go into the coop anymore so i can chase them around all night long can't get them into the coop so i've just said you know what i'll just let them free range and so far they're hanging on you know there's a lot of predators that like to eat chickens but they don't want to be in the coop so you know what can i do what can i do of course we got a turkey over here he's kind of keeping an eye on everything What's up everybody? They can't let y'all out today. I'll let y'all explore tomorrow. So filling up their water right now, go ahead and give them some food to eat. I like feeding them around five o'clock. That way we kind of get them in the routine of coming back into the uh, coop.
All right, here's some feed for you too. I'm gonna put it right here, look. There you go. Whole cup of feed for you. So I gotta say, I'm really impressed with how well Jerry the turkey took up here on the old bird farm because he didn't spend any time in the coop. Um, I was gonna keep him locked up for a while. And you're really not supposed to house turkeys and chickens together, not because of conflict issues, but because of disease issues. Um, but I, I, since he grew up around chickens anyway, and some of the chickens in there are the ones that he grew up with, I was going to go ahead and house them together. But once the rooster and the turkey got into it, obviously that wasn't going to work. Now, of course, Jerry's always been a free-range turkey his entire life. He doesn't like going into a coop. Uh, but I was worried that since he came here from a different farm that he would want to go run off and, you know, try to go back home or just generally run away. But so far he's been really good. He's got his place picked out where he roosts at night and pretty much just stays around the chicken coop or in this vicinity, either antagonizing the rooster or just on patrol. So it's really cool. He's, he's fit in really well here. All right guys, well that's pretty much a two day project that uh, is finished up now, at least for the most part. I mean, still of course a whole lot to do, but I absolutely love it. Um, I love this cleared area over here and this entire front yard is just absolutely beautiful now. Like with the oak tree here, that of course, well, the zombie oak tree or what's left of an oak tree, having all that cleared away from it really opens this yard up and it makes it feel more like a yard than it has in a while, at least to me. And of course, we've also got our barbed wire fence all fixed up here. Uh, I would love to say that this is the last time I'll be using barbed wire. Unfortunately, that won't be the case as I'll still have to do more fence work. If I clear any more down there, I'll have to do more fence work and redo some of the fence that I already did before because the uh, wisteria is just taking it over. But this way, now having this cleared, I'll be able to maintain it. Uh, just go in there, cut that wisteria when it inevitably grows back. And uh, that'll be easy to do though. We'll just take it and mow it for now until we spray it or attack it. A different way eventually i'd like to get a disc uh what's it called a disc uh plow not a disc plow something else can't remember the name of it right now but that'll actually go into the ground and maybe chop on some of this wisteria and uh, kill it down low but for now we put a hurting on it of course as we know it'll come back but again it's down to the point now where i can actually maintain the wisteria we're not having to cut humongous vines but when those runners come up out of the ground we just mow them back over and uh, take care of it so that's the point that you know i, I kind of needed to be at with that stuff is to be able to come out here and maintain it and not just you know see it taking over everything like it still is on 90 percent of this property but it's it's pretty amazing so we've been doing this for about seven months and uh and still even now being able to open something up like this and have a new reward of something that just looks even better than it did before makes me really happy hope you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, i'll see you on the next adventure